down on last week, a heck of a run by your team last week. Yeah, sure, man. Like, uh, you know, super proud of our guys. I think what they what they were able to accomplish this week was uh, was pretty special. You know, I mean, going out there and winning four, not only four games or winning three games in four days, but uh, but also knocking off the teams that they knocked off. You know, uh, I said it out there. I think beating maybe the, the best seven seed in the country in Utah Valley. I don't know what, what other conference had the seven seed as, as good as them. You know, um, and then going and beating conference co-champ in Seattle in a, in a hard fought. Uh, you know, knock down, drag out, win, extremely physical game. Uh, you know, after after playing, you know, our old our old rival Stephen F. Austin the day before, um, and then going in and, and playing a, a a really really good and talented uh, New Mexico State team that uh, you know I think has a chance to maybe do a little damage in the in the NCAA tournament um, this weekend. So uh, just really proud of what they did. It's a special group of kids. Um, you know, I'm excited to not be done just yet. Um, but I'm uh, looking forward to kind of seeing what the future holds for each of them. So uh, three wins in four days. How you know? How much do you think uh, the wear and tear you know, was showing up on that fourth day? Man, I think it definitely it definitely showed. Um, you know, you could tell. I think we started the game really well, hitting some shots. I think adrenaline, momentum, whatever you want to say, kind of kind of was was taking us. You know, uh, early, but then. As the game wore on, we started to wear down a little bit, you know, and, and uh, I, sh I could have maybe used my bench a little bit more, but I just trust those seniors so much and, um, you know, but I don't think that was all of it. I, I think um, these guys are, you know, 18 to 22 years old. Uh, they could, I mean, they'll be hooping somewhere today probably, you know, and so, um, you know, the bottom line is uh, we ran up against a really good opponent and uh, that, that's worthy of the championship that they won. And... Um, we just got beat, but uh, again, I'm extremely proud of, of the effort the guys put forth. Coach, what does it say about your team to go from the Southland, win a conference title there, go to the WAC, change leagues, tougher, deeper league, get right back to the championship game? Yeah, you know, I think I think it's it just shows that this program's here to stay. You know, um, you know, these young men have, have given it everything. I don't think uh, I think it, there's a lot of people out there that that understand basketball. They, they looked at this program before. They knew we were a good program, but thought it was going to take a while, you know, for, for us. And, and I know we finished sixth, I think, in the regular season. Um, but that, I mean, we're, we're like two games out of first. You know, it's in, and if we don't lose one or two game, one possession games, we're right there in the hunt uh, for the championship in the WAC. And so um, I, I don't care, you know, where you put our, put our program, uh, you know, what league you want to put it in. Uh, we're going to compete for championships. That's what we're called to do. And, uh, you know, uh, I think we've we've set a standard here, you know, and uh, we talked early in the year. You know, I always talk to the seniors about, you know, don't let this thing fall off on your watch. You know, we, we talked about that the last four or five years, you know, since this program's been going. And we'll have that same conversation with, with the next round of seniors is, you know, these guys did their job. Now it's your turn. You know, don't don't let this thing fall off on your watch. And and I I have no doubt that it that it's not going anywhere anytime soon. Yeah, so, uh, you know, we're excited to, to, to play. Uh, we've accepted an invitation to the College Basketball Invitational, the CBI. Um, it's uh, going to be held down in Daytona this weekend, and, and we've already found out our first opponent. It's going to be a really good Troy team out of the Sunbelt Conference. Um, you know, Stephen F. Austin is playing in, in this tournament. Uh, Cal Baptist, I think those are two of the teams that are in our conference that are they're playing in this as well. As well. But uh, extremely competitive tournament. It's a... Uh, it's a four games in four days <laughs> tournament, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. But uh, I, can't, I don't know if anybody played as deep as we did uh, that's in the tournament. But, uh, you know, we're excited. It's really good basketball, man. Um, High-level mid-major, you know, basketball. Um, I think the first two games are going to be on uh, – the first two rounds will be on Flow Sports. And if we were able to move forward on that, then it would be on the ESPN networks. And so uh, people will be able to watch it. Uh, again, it's in Daytona. Uh, Florida, and uh, we're excited. Just the season's not quite over, man. We get we get to go uh, at least to make one more run together.